Well, peoples, it didn't take long for the bullshit to happen. Apparently, Jeremiah uh, Harvey's mother, for some damn reason, she basically forced him to accept um, Teresa Sue Klein's apology. And I swear, this is the type of black people I hate the most. As a black person, as a black man, I'm saying this. Why do we always feel like we have to forgive, forgive, forgive? Get the hell out of here. Don't ever let a, a white person or anyone shame you. Or even a black person that work in the white media shame you into forgiving something like that. Because they'll never forgive you. They'll try to put you in jail or killed. I'm going to play this video. It's coming from a Tariq Nasheed tweet. And I'm sorry. Here we go. And this is on GMA. Good morning, America. Ajita Jeremiah. Young man. I don't know your name, but I'm sorry. I accept her apology. I want unity. I don't want no harm for to this lady. Do you accept her apology? Yes. Yes, I do. Friendship is the key. Hey, Mom, how are you feeling right now? I know that this is going to take some time. It's going to take a lot of healing. Certainly will. Jeremiah initially said that he did not forgive Teresa Klein. As you can see from our conversation, he has since had a change of heart. He and his mother are hoping that this is going to be a lesson for people, that people are going to learn to be kinder. You just seen that BS. You could tell the kid was forced to say this. Like, he barely wanted to say, yes, yes, I forgive him, friendship, whatever. You know, uh, I don't know. Here, Here's the thing. You know, um, and I'm going to say this, and I'm going to be real about it. You know, a lot of time, a black, a black women, when they get in on media and all that stuff, they'll be more willing to submit to the demands of the people that go there. Now, it wasn't a white woman. It was actually a black woman that was, you know, interviewing them and all that stuff. But remember, they also do not really want the black father in the uh, kid's Apology. life. Because if you remember um, LeVar Ball and his son, Angelo Ball or D'Angelo, Liangelo, I don't know. It was one of them, the one that plays for the Lakers. And remember, they were trying to get him to sign the Nike for $200 million or something. But he was like, no, no, I don't want them to just sponsor Nike. He wanted them to wear his big baller brand shoes and all that stuff. And they hated, they berated that man. And also the backlash he faced for not saying thank you to Trump, which he didn't need to. Because his kids said it. If your kids are grown and your kids say thank you, the parents shouldn't have to say thank you. If the kids are minor, then that's a whole different story. But at the end of the day, you know, Donald Trump did what he was supposed to do as a president. That's he's still a U.S. citizen. But because it was a black teenager, they all had to be f sorry. Even LeVar Ball had to be sorry. I'm glad he didn't apologize. And, you know, his son still played for the Lakers. He's not that great. Okay. He's not no Kobe. He's not no LeBron. He's not no Dwayne Wade or anything like that, but he, he scores his points. He makes his money. It's not like he have a quarter per game that he have to make. Maybe he do, but, you know, I just wanted to update on this story and shame on the mother for forcing her son. Shame, shame, shame. We have to stop doing this crap as black people, <laughs> especially black women. I'm just saying.